You want to go out? Out? A date. I don't need presents, Beth. Just you. You're really embracing the slow man thing. I'm in no mood, Beth. Yeah, I wouldn't be either. They haven't let you ride a horse yet? No, let me ride the buck out of the two-year-olds. That's about it. Someday I'm gonna be top hand. You watch. Wow, so much ambition. I mean, that's like dreaming of running the grill at McDonald's. That's what it's like to you. Still here? Barely. I leave for college tomorrow. I'm gonna study finance. <clears throat> What's that? How to make money off other people's money. Seems like quite the trick. You gonna find out? You wanna go out? Out? A date. Before I leave. Have you leave tomorrow? Your window's closing. I'll be done in a couple hours. Meet you at the barn. Look at that. That's a big fucking wolf. I've done some morbid shit on a first date. This takes the cake grip. It's far from a first date, Beth. Mm -hmm. Statue of limitations of our first date ran out years ago. Oh, yeah. When something dies in the city, it's, it's roped off, zipped into a bag, and carried away before anyone could bother to notice. Mm -hmm. We're pretending it don't happen, don't make it not happen. It's very astute, Rip. I should embroider that on a pillow. <laughs> it makes you think it doesn't. It's almost the same thing. Yeah, well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but everything you know and everyone you see everywhere is going to die. You got old. today. <laughs> Shit, you might just cheat death yet. Beth? Try Zumba, get that cardio up. What's the fuck is wrong with you? Cheating death, like you said. You're the craziest person I've ever met in my life, you know that? It's only the things I love that die rip, never me. Yeah. Come to think of it, I'm surprised you're still standing. I guess God isn't done punishing you either. Things are becoming a little clearer to me. Quite the sacrifice. Yeah. No, that's what your father wanted. I remember the first time I saw you. So wild. So angry. God, you were beautiful. I remember the way you looked at him. Such devotion. I was so jealous. And the way he looked at you. I was worried that he'd love you more someday. But he doesn't. Last time was never in doubt. Don't let you. This is my family. Whether y'all think of me that way or not. What in the fuck are you doing now? In 35 years, 
I have never been alone on this ranch. And we're all alone, man. We can do whatever we want. Baby, you've been doing whatever you want your whole damn life. But no one can see us. We could take off all our clothes. We could go run naked through the field. <laughs> no one would know about it. I'll tell you what. Why don't you run butt ass naked through that field and I sit here in my jeans and I watch you do it. What do you say? Is there anything you ever wanted to do but you didn't do? Because everybody would watch you or question you and now doing it is in spite of them. And it's about something else. The moment you imagined is not the moment that you were living. Does that make sense to you? Mm. Uh, honestly, I don't even know what you just said. You know, there's something I want to do. Just, uh, just stay there. This sounds interesting. We're fucking in the dirt, aren't we? Uh, maybe a little bit. What's that? Um, the proper term for it would be a juxtaposition. I don't know what that means, but... I know, baby. Looks like an O-ring. Oh, yeah. Halfway right. I didn't think you were a diamonds and gold kind of girl. <laughs> know what I mean? Yeah. I don't need presents, Beth. Just you. Well, that's what it means. It means that you that you have me, that I'm yours. It means come live your life with me. The only thing I ask is that you outlive me so I never have to live another day without you. I can try and do that. Okay. It's settled. We'll get married. Who presents the bride? Me. I am. I'm the father. So normally I would uh, say a few things about the couple, but I don't have any idea who you people are, so I'll just move onward to the vows. I state your name. I, Rick Wheeler. Do take, state her name to be my lawful wedded bride. Take Beth Dutton to be my lawful wedded bride. To have and to hold, to honor and cherish from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. To honor and to love to cherish through everything until I die. And that's no longer, baby. And now, Miss Dutton, repeat after me, I, Beth Dutton. Fuck yes, I do. No, um, not yet. <laughs> you do, I suppose. Uh, are there mm. rings? Mm. Oh, hold on, I have one. Here it is. What? It was my mother's ring. We didn't have much Beth. We were poor, but it's yours. And so am I. <laughs> <laughs>